I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, November 6th to Monday, November 13th, 2017. Now, what's going on this week, Pisces, I think, is that we're still dealing with a bunch of stuff that's actually been going on for the past few weeks, maybe even a little bit longer, and I think we're trying to get breakthroughs here with some of these things and put some of these things in the right place and in the proper perspective so that it is that we can move forward, okay? I think for you, this week, what it's going to have a lot to do here is right where Saturn is in your 10th house of your career and of your life direction and of your social standing. I think you're really trying to figure out what's going on in my career. Where's my life going? All right. How can you move up in the world in some way? Okay. I don't know if it's going to be the easiest because we do have Saturn here at making a square to Chiron in your first house. So maybe there's some uh, uncomfortable feelings here about how you can put your life in the right direction, about how you can have the career that it is that you want in whatever way, really trying to figure out how you can work the two together and not sure if you have what it takes to move your life in the direction that you need to move it in and like your career is going to work out and the way that you want it to work out. Maybe some stuff going on there, but I think with the message is to not be so worried about whether or not your career is going to work for you, whether or not you're going to have the life direction that you want and to just focus on moving your life in a better spot, putting it in a better place, doing the things that you need, okay, to just have things things work better for you and move yourself in the right direction, okay? And I think if you can focus on that, you're really going to get some breakthroughs here where Uranus is in your second house with Saturn in a trine with Uranus um, to find more of the stability in your life that you want, maybe to bring more money and income to you and to use more of your gifts and your talents and your skills with all of those things being ruled by the second house. But I'll just write money here. It's normally, traditionally, it's a money house. Um, okay, so I think that's what's going on there and you need to overcome any uncomfortable feelings if you have any uncomfortable feelings about who you are uh, and about whether or not you know things are going to work out for you so that you can start to move your life in the right direction build that stability that you want and need and use more of everything it is that you have to offer the world okay so that's what is happening there i think as you're thinking a lot about all of that stuff there's also a lot of focus right here where scorpio is for you in your ninth house of something new and different and exciting that you haven't done before Okay, I know I've talked about that a lot uh, recently. That was because Mercury was there and Jupiter, of course, moved into that sign. But now Mercury has gone into Sagittarius and we have Venus, which just moved into Scorpio, of course, and the sun's still there, making your ninth house something new, still a big focus for you, trying to figure some things out there, okay? Now, I think what's going on is as you're trying to figure out your career and what direction your career is going in and your life in general, if it's not hitting you in a career way, as you're trying to figure out where your life is going and how you can build more stability into your life in some direction, I think there's something new that's coming up here. Maybe there's a new thing you're trying to accommodate, all right, that you need to work into your career. How can my career and my life direction help me work better with something new that I'm doing, bring more of the passion back in my life, accommodate something else, okay, that I think you're trying to all work together. I think with Venus here in a conjunction with Jupiter in your ninth house of something new, you're trying to figure out what do you really want in regards to this new thing, what makes you comfortable uh, in regards to something new or different that you're doing that you have not done before. Also how you can work better with your relationships to do something new and to get on board with this new thing that you're doing as well. And I think really having to sit with some of those issues to understand them better, okay, and to make sense of that as you move forward. Okay, I think if you can focus on some new thing that's coming in in your life and really doing that and getting right with that here, I think it's going to help you where Pluto is because Pluto is making a sextile to the sun this week and Pluto's in your 11th house to really figure out where you want your life to go um, and to reach some of your goals and dreams and hopes for the future. Okay, but I think the message is here. You have to focus on doing something new and on getting right with this new thing that you're doing before you can start to feel like, ah, this is the where I want my life to go in, you know, and start to feel like, yes, this is where I need to be right now. Okay, and I think this new thing, and it's an exciting thing, the ninth house, I always, I've been saying this to you the past few weeks, it's a very good house. So I don't think it's a bad thing, this new thing that's coming to you. But I think it's just working out some of the details and dealing with some of the emotional stuff that you need. And I think if you can figure that out, it's going to help you to move forward on some things that are important to you and to put your career in the place that it needs to go in and move your life in the right direction, okay? I think if you can also focus on this new thing and work out some of the kinks there, it's going to help you here where the North Node is. 
okay and this is going to be in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines and also of your health okay so figuring out this new thing not only is going to help you move your life in the direction that it needs to go in and to work out some things with your career um, but it's also going to help you too to have a better daily existence to do what you need to do on the day to day or to have a better job that it is that you need okay that can work better with this new exciting thing that it is that you're doing even though it may take some effort squares take a little effort so it may take some effort for you to get your job and your daily routines on board with this new thing but i think if you can figure that out it will be a lot better for you in the long run okay so that's what's happening there as all of that's going on we also do have mercury in your 10th house of career here making a square over to neptune so as you're trying to figure out <laughs> Um, how you can build more stability into your life as you move in a new direction or work with your career in some way and as you integrate something new into your career and do something better on the day to day I think there's also lots of thought as well and lots of talk about your career about your life direction and how your career can work out better for you here and really needing to perhaps commit to especially in the next month or so commit to a career and something that's going on with your career and with your life direction to have it work better for you and to have it help you do what you want okay and to move forward in that direction and it could be a little bit hard with Chiron here in your first house but I think if you have the hard conversations and I think if you talk about uh, the things that are important to you it's really going to help you to put your your life in a better spot here and to do what it is that you need to do to really welcome new chapters in because I do see and I keep saying this lots of exciting things going on for my Pisces here it's just maybe trying to get everything else in your life on board with it here in your career with what's happening okay so that's what i have for you pisces um also this week we have the moon which is going to be here in this part of your chart i don't always mention the moon but i just i don't know i just feel like i should this week um and the moon for you is going to be here in your fourth house of home and family it's going to be in your fifth house of happiness and kids passion projects romantic relationships and your sixth house of your job so as you're working with career stuff trying to figure out how you can integrate something new into your career into your life direction bring more stability into your life you're thinking a lot about home and family how you can build something how you can get right with your home and family how you can be more happy as well moving your life in this new direction work better with kids uh, if you have any and just organize your life all around here okay so that you can start to reach some of your goals better and have every Thing in your life work together more smoothly okay um, so that's what I see going on there for you Pisces now your card for the week is the fool I love it upright the Fool's one of my favorite cards I actually see this as being a very ninth house card going on you're going on some new journey here something new and something exciting and this is the card that says do it take risks like go for it you know this is a sign of like literally a, a man about to walk off a cliff because he's like so happy with everything that's going on and when i see this card upright it says walk off the cliff you're gonna there's gonna be someone there to catch you and it's gonna be okay uh in the end all right and to throw yourself into this new thing that you're doing into this unknown thing and to allow yourself to enter new chapters and new phases of life and to be excited and to be happy about it um because i think you've got a lot of cool things going on and i think if you just let yourself Go there even if you don't know what you're doing or how this new thing is gonna work out or what's going on I think you're still gonna be fine if you just keep moving forward even if you make some mistakes even if you make some mistakes when I see the full card you're gonna be okay moving forward if you just keep moving there okay so that's what I've got for you this week Pisces I really do like it for you I've been saying that I hope it starts to I hope you start to feel that uh, that things uh, good things are gonna come your way okay so that's what I've got for you this week thank you so much for watching my horoscope I hope you liked it if you did please like it on YouTube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and I will talk to you later